Hi, I'm, uh, take two. So hello, my name is Chris Clough and I am an educator in the York Region District School Board. I've probably taken too much time thinking about, you know, what type of an animal I am and how that connects with my teaching and how that connects with my pedagogy, but let's I'll, I'll put it to this. Teaching is my second career. My first career I worked in hospitality. I was a chef, kitchen manager, bartender, everything that you could do in hospitality, pretty much I gave a try. And I did that up until my late 30s where I had a conversation with my spouse and we talked about whether or not there were any other things that I could do. I was at a bit of a crossroads in my career. I was in a place where I either had to buy into the restaurants that I was working at or strike out on my own or the same company was going down to the States. And all three of those didn't seem like what I was really interested in doing. And I was also interested in uh, growing my family, having kids. And that was a major, major motivator to ask the question, what else could I do? And my spouse was a teacher, still is an educator. She said, well, did you think about maybe becoming a teacher? And my knee-jerk reaction was sort of like a, yeah, right. But as it ended up, I had credentials that were needed within the school board. I applied in and I started teaching hospitality. That was back in 2005. When I came into teaching, I started off by teaching grade 11 hospitality. And that was a, a tech course. But because I came in with an undergraduate degree from university where I took some drama, I took some psych, some soch, and by coming in, I was able to not only teach these, uh, teach the tech courses, but I had access to teaching other courses as well. So I taught the introduction to anthro uh, anthropology, hos uh, hospitality, anthropology, psychology, and sociology. And that was the beginning of me thinking outside the culinary box, because from there, I did some guidance. I did a lot of special education. And then from special education, I shifted into alternative education or alt ed as it shortened. And then I was working for two years in a program that supported students that were on suspension and expulsion. So that was a classroom on a, it was a, a an offsite classroom where the students would come to me from several different high schools and we would provide programming for them while they were with us. And then just this school year, I shifted out of the uh, program with the students that were on suspension or expulsion. And this year I've shifted back into special education and I'm in a um, ASD, an autism community classroom teaching culinary and life skills, which has been a phenomenal uh, thought fuel, mind shift, um, what have I done, kind of a change, so much learning and has really challenged my experience up to this point and made me dig deep into my pedagogical toolkit to try and marry what I've learned in my teaching career so far with a uh, with the students and the very very highly highly differentiated student needs of this classroom it's been great it's been frustrating it's been tiring and it's been the type of learning that I think I think had I sort of fallen on any sort of negativity and if I didn't have a team that really helped me, it would be very easy to sort of say, you know, this was a bad choice. But what I'm realizing is that some of the dissonance that I'm feeling is just the challenge of learning something, something new when um, I've spent so long doing one thing one way. I like the animals question. It, I, I have to say flat out that the idea of comparing my pedagogy and my approach to teaching to animals I've, I've actually been asked that before and i would have to put it somewhere between squirrel and hummingbird to be honest a lot of my special education and definitely my alternative education experience is that having to focus and have multi-focus on multi-courses that's a little bit of the the squirrel element and definitely chasing all that kind of energy around the classroom and the hummingbird just reminds me of that being able to hover and stay, um, spend time, get some really deep focus, and then move on and hover and stay as well. So somewhere between the two, squirrel, hummingbird, either way, I think that gives a pretty good 
comparison to what my uh, what my teaching context has been like for some time now. And as far as my motivation and why I want to take this course, I out of the gate when I first came into teaching, I got my special education specialist really, really quickly. And I got my guidance parts one and two. And ultimately for me, getting the specialist gets me closer to the information that will help me uh, bring not only change within my classroom, but change within departments and then within system and sort of gets me where I feel to sort of the, the table where some of the cool conversations happen and that inevitably happens in some of the leadership circles. So in order to accent my teacher leadership and classroom leadership, there's also uh, a level of credentialing that needs to be, um, that you have to learn. You have to get your specialist in order to go to some of our department head meetings and to sort of get to our system meetings where really cool and interesting stuff happens. So I'm motivated by the learning, but I'm also motivated by completing this part three because I've been sitting on parts one and two for almost six years now. So as far as my expectation for myself, I really love digital learning. I love learning online. I'm hoping that this alternative form of response will um, connect with some of you. I realize that in some cases with these assignments, I won't be able to do a video. I may even get some pushback and say I should have done the video, but I'm gonna try and do this. So I'm gonna post it to YouTube. Um, I'm very comfortable with digital learning and also digital reflective practice. I have a podcast of my own called Chasing Squirrels and I do a collaborative podcast called Decoded with a, um, a friend of mine who I'm high school public. He is elementary Catholic and we have some really great conversations there and we post it all free to view online and on YouTube. So my expectations is that I'm gonna find, um, I'm gonna be able to go deeper and sort of connect with the other individuals in the class, you, I'll be able to connect with you, whoever you are right now listening to this video. And I'm looking forward to being able to share some of the reflective practice and build a deeper understanding of what um, the leadership and the learnings from this class mean in different contexts. That was my whole intent in doing the Chasing Squirrels. It was to, Chasing Squirrels podcast, it was to try and see what was going on outside of my silo. As far as what I take away, I'm looking to make more professional learning connections. I really do enjoy making digital connections that can turn into career or lifelong connections and following up and getting together for coffee and collaborating and uh, checking in. So I am looking at the sort of network of friends and and uh, individuals that are in this to sort of be the the primary gold coming away from this. The As far as the facilitator, uh, Rob, I'm hoping that you too will provide some of your personal context. I love telling story in order to learn and I love receiving story in order to learn. And I've, I've, I've found that individuals that facilitate courses that are willing to share not only the core curriculum, but they're willing to share their, their sort of lived experience. Um, that really enhances my learning experience. Plus it helps me to feel that human connection in spaces where it's so easy to make it um, kind of cold and just, you know, point and click kind of learning. So, um, I think that's kind of it. Yeah. Uh, I look forward to learning from all of you and by all means, if this format, if this format of me posting a video for the intro, I can always transcribe it. That is not a problem. And I'm hoping that the link will work in the environment in this U of T in this U of T environment. Like I said, if not, I'll transcribe it. But uh, for now, I hope you all have a fantastic Sunday evening. Take care.